Hey everybody, Jeff Harmon here, Principal Leadership Coach and Speaker. Over the summer I read the book Getting Naked by Patrick Lencioni. I absolutely love the book and really recommend it. For me, it's transformed how I'll deal with prospects and clients from here on out. And as I reflected on the book, I realized that the naked approach that Lencioni talks about could really have a powerful impact on leaders and also how we define our own personal brand. Let's face it, lots of folks have convinced themselves that the key to success lies in having it all together and knowing all the answers and never letting anybody see them sweat. But there's a better way. A naked approach to those that we're leading will create greater loyalty. And it's what people are really looking for in a world where the word reality has lost its meaning. What I'd like to share with you today is what I believe is one of the more important elements of naked leadership, two of the benefits, and what naked leadership might look like in action for you. The element that I want to share with you really isn't new to this vlogathon, and in fact, it isn't about doing anything at first. It's all about how you show up and honoring the greatness in that. In real life, when someone is willingly naked, they're clearly comfortable in their own skin. And the same goes for naked leadership. We have to be comfortable in our own skin, comfortable being vulnerable. Showing up that way to life and leadership is a place where there's enthusiasm, strength, passion, excitement, and sometimes even some weakness. It's a place where your true brand is on display. What are the benefits of this approach? The first is people respond to and deeply appreciate this type of authenticity. The truth is that you're highly attractive and deemed worthy of following when you own up to mistakes, when you maybe ask a dumb question, and generally we, when, when we don't take ourselves so seriously. And people also feel safe. There's no question of whether there's some hidden agenda there. The second benefit is a personal one, and that's a reduction of stress and tension. It can be difficult to live a divided life. And there's stress associated with that, feeling like we have to be one way at home and then flip a switch and be another way at work. When there's no division, when we can show up the same wherever we are, for both you and those that are following, there's a great benefit to, the, to that reduction in stress. Now, what does naked leadership look like in action? The first is to, to be willing to do the dirty work. Nakedness it means that we're willing to take on whatever the task might be that the team or the situation might call for, even if the task at hand might seem beneath your title or your position. Don't hesitate to get dirty. Don't hesitate to put your hands in, into the work, not to meddle, but to support and to help the team. And when all hands on deck are called for, that the leader's hands are there. The second example of naked leadership in action is simply admitting mistakes and weakness. When a leader admits their mistakes and weakness, owns up to those things that, that maybe they've done wrong, it's an implied message to those that are following that they can make mistakes too, that it's okay. And this opens up a wonderful opportunity for innovation, creativity, and calculated risk-taking. And all of those benefit everybody. In the case of both of these examples of naked leadership in action, we create greater loyalty and commitment that's priceless and it enhances our personal brand. Thank you so much, Peter, for this opportunity to speak with you on this vlogathon. For everybody that's, that's watching today's post, I've created a free gift. It's called The Naked Leadership Self-Assessment, and it comes from my new book, The Anatomy of a Principled Leader, which is due out next month. Just email me, Jeff at brilliancewithincoaching.com with the subject line Naked Leadership, and I'll get that out to you right away. Thanks so much, and take care. Bye-bye.